Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Okay, let's talk about a post at bat evaluation. So after the at bat is done, you go back to the dugout. In my opinion, you should think through that at bat, go through it and hit on these checkpoints and make sure that you've done a good job on each of these steps, okay? So the first thing is think about your timing. Were you on time for that pitch? If you weren't, were you late? or were you early? And then what adjustment do you have to make? And so let's say I go back and I, I was late. Well, if I'm late on that, why was I late? Was I not getting myself ready early enough? If I'm late, I've got to get my load started sooner. If I'm early, well then I've got to get my load started later. So that's one of the easiest adjustments I can make as a hitter is when do I start my load? And it's super important, and it's what you need to do on the on-deck circle. When I'm on the on-deck circle, I'm dancing with the pitcher, I'm getting in sync with the pitcher, and I'm figuring out, okay, when do I have to get this front foot off the ground so that I can get to my spot on time to hit? That is key. So I call this point right here. Basically, when your front foot's about to go into the ground and you're about to launch your swing, you have to be at that spot on time. If you are not there, if, you, if I never get to that spot when it's time to swing, I'm out. And if I'm going to be either a little early or a little late, I'd rather be a little early. Because again, if I'm a little late, oh, the ball's by me and I've got no chance. I can't hit when I'm a little late, right? I have a shot if I'm a little early. Do I want to be exactly on time? Yeah, absolutely. But if I have to err either on the side of being a little early or a little late, I want to be a little early. So that's the first thing. Think about your timing. Second thing, pitch selection. Did I get a good pitch to hit? One of the first things I was told when I started playing professional baseball is that they would rather me take a bad swing at a good pitch than a good swing at a bad pitch. And so no matter how good my swing is, if I'm swinging at balls all over the place, I'm gonna have a very, very, very low chance of having success. And a lot of times players don't even think about the pitches that they swing at. They immediately go to mechanics, right? Most hitters, they get out, they go back to the dugout, somebody talks to them about mechanics, hey, don't drop your shoulder, hey, don't step out, hey, don't do this when they swung at a ball up here or they swung at a ball that bounced 10 feet before the plate. And so pitch selection, it's so important. So go back and think about, okay, what pitch was I looking for? It's important to understand every time I step in the box, I'm looking for a certain pitch. If you're looking for everything, you're gonna be ready for nothing. And so I can't just try to hit everything. The game is too hard unless you're playing at a really, really low level. So I have to have an idea of what pitch I'm looking for. And then I have to anticipate that pitch. And now this is based on a bunch of different things. My strength as a hitter, the pitcher's strengths, the game situation, the inning, the out, the score. There's so many things that go into it. And so there's a lot of variables. We can't get into everything right now, but you should have an idea based on all of that. What pitch are you anticipating? And I'm getting ready to hit that pitch. I can't just be sitting in neutral and say, well, let's just see here. I'm just gonna watch this ball and let's see if this looks good. Yeah, that looks good, swing. At that point, you're out, right? I have to anticipate it. Okay, I know the pitch I'm looking for. I want a fastball, middle in. And so I'm anticipating that pitch is gonna be thrown right here. And I'm getting ready to hit that thing. And if that ball is thrown where I'm looking, I you better bet I'm gonna be on time and I'm gonna put a good swing on that. So pitch selection and approach are hugely important. I've gotta be aggressive to my pitch. Now the last thing to go to is mechanics. Now mechanics can be a little bit tougher because not every hitter understands the best mechanics to use. And sometimes it's difficult to even know what you did at the plate that caused you 
to miss hit that ball. So let's say your timing was really good. And let's say that your approach and your pitch selection were really solid as well. But maybe your mechanics did break down. So this is where understanding your swing and understanding swing mechanics in general can really help you as a hitter because this is where it can help you make adjustments from at bat to at bat. And you're gonna hear a lot of things from parents and coaches and people in the stands. If you hit the ball up, everybody says you drop your back shoulder. If you roll over or pull the ball, everyone's gonna say that you pulled off the ball. Now sometimes that might be the case, but a lot of times it isn't. So learn your swing. Learn what you do well and what you don't do well mechanically. Study great hitters. Figure out what makes those great hitters successful. How do they use their bodies? How do they move? How do they swing? And so now, after an at-bat, I can get a complete evaluation. Right? I can look at my timing, I can look at my pitch selection and approach, and I can look at my mechanics. And now I'll have a very good idea of why I was either successful or unsuccessful, and now I can adjust for the next at-bat. Or maybe I just have to keep doing what I'm doing. Because I was on time, I swung on a great pitch, and my mechanics were perfect. But you need to have all three to be able to make those in-game adjustments and then those post-game adjustments for the next game. So hopefully that helps you out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. We'll talk to you later. If you've enjoyed this video and want to learn more about building the elite swing, check out our new course. We have over two hours of content, almost 30 hitting drills, we break down the exact mechanics that you're gonna to wanna to implement into your swing. I've put the link in the description if you wanna go check it out.